<laughs> so we followed a lead. My buddy was out here buying some seats. He sent me this guy's info. Bought a vehicle. It came with this. It's meant to be. It's got to be meant to be. My Econoline, my, my white Econoline came from Friendly Ford in Las Vegas. And I just bought two of those frames on eBay. So bizarre. Show you what I just picked up. Got pulled out of the barn here. It's been here for 27 years. Smells like dead possum. <laughs> Casey told me they were pretty fresh, huh? What's that? Casey told me they were pretty fresh, huh? Yeah, <laughs> Oh yeah. Be fun dragging this thing up the trailer. Hey, one of them rolls. It's gonna be fun getting this on the trailer. It's uh, opposite of the uh, bus. It's got one wheel that rolls. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Uh -oh. This is gonna suck. Yeah, the bus is four full tires, though. I know. This one's only gonna have that. There's no inch or trans in it, so we'll, f we'll figure it out. It's gonna be fun. All right, well, uh, got me a 69 Mach 1. That's an M code car, uh, 351 four barrel. I think that's 351 Cleveland. So, beautiful out here, geez. And I bought a few other things off the guy too. So. Nice trip. It was kind of funny. I sent my buddy a link on Facebook to a set of uh, Chevelle bucket seats. And he comes out here and buys the seats. And then he comes back and tells me, hey, he's got a 69 Mustang out there. You should go take a look at it. So I did. I bought it. It's been sitting 27 years, he said. The guy um, took it to him to get it painted or did some body work on and uh, kind of fell off the face of the earth a few years, a few years later. And uh, he's been trying to get a hold of him for years and never, uh, was never able to get a hold of the guy. He has no idea what happened to him or anything. Uh, mine now. The proud uh, new temporary owner of a 1969 Mustang Mach 1. I think it's a Mach 1. On the dashboard says Mach 1. Interior is not in bad shape. It's dirty and smells like death. And. This one didn't come with the optional floor pans. This one's got the floor pan delete. And the uh, the flex option, see? It's got the flexy uh, floor pan option there. See, again, floor pan delete option. That was pretty rare, actually. So this sat in a barn. And sit in a barn for 27 years. Well, it stayed in one piece getting it on the trailer, so it's got that going for it. I mean, 
it's um it's solid in spots and it's not solid in other spots <laughs> like um you know like the whole back half of this flame frame rail is uh good but then you come up to the front and uh there ain't no frame rail there anymore so uh Like that's a solid bumper. That bumper's in good shape. You know, like that door is doing door things. It's got a rocker panel on it. But then you come over here and it's like, whoa, check that out. It's uh kind of bad for a frame rail. As far as frame rails go, that's bad. So yeah. I mean, I'm not going to restore it. Somebody might, but it is a 69 Fastback. I'll find a home for it. I always do. Alright. Well, I'm tired. See you later. Alright. I haven't touched this thing since I got home. I did put it up for sale online for uh, $5,900, $5,900, and got a lot of responses, got a lot of unfavorable responses, people accusing me of uh, being a scam, basically. I thought it was a reasonable price. Apparently, it was too cheap, because everybody thought... Uh, Everybody thought I was trying to scam people like the car didn't exist. Well, it exists, I assure you. I mean, it's right here. That's awesome. I love it. I mean, it's right in front of me. So, go back on. Come on. Ugh. So, I listed it. I listed it as a Mach 1 because, well, says Mach 1 on there and those are Mach 1 seats and as far as I know that's a Mach 1 interior well a lot of people tell me that I'm trying to sell a fake Mach 1 I'm like listen all I know is what's in front of me I don't know anything else I don't know anything less so I had a few people that are supposed to come look at it and none of them ever showed up <laughs> surprisingly so well not surprisingly so uh i kind of just got annoyed and took the ad down i just like got tired of dealing with people already so i uh i paid for a marty report i'm waiting on that right now i should be getting that back pretty soon so that'll tell me if it is in fact a Mach 1 or not so I can you know tell people exactly what the car is or was and I'm sending out to get a title for it because the title is lost so that should take me a few weeks to get that straightened out and in the meantime I'm gonna get these two tires replaced so the car is up on four tires and get the three uh the three brakes unlocked because <laughs> it only has uh i think it's just only the left rear no i'm sorry only the right rear that rolls right now the other three brakes are uh frozen so while i am uh waiting to get the title uh straightened out I'll make the car roll and stare at the very least and uh, go from there. Another reason I took it down off of uh, Marketplace and whatnot for sale after I got it here I gave it a uh, better uh, going over 
and the car is actually, it, it, it's bad, but it's not as bad as I originally thought it was. So, it obviously needs front frame rails, and to ride it up here, and to ride it up under here. It also needs uh, full floor pans. So it needs front frame rails, full uh, floor pans, pretty much from like the back seat forward. But, doing a little investigating. Let's see if I can find it here. All right, see this little like square spot right here? That's where the sticker was from Ford. This is a new old stock uh, fender apron or inner fender, whatever you want to call it. So somebody already went through this car and put some NOS parts on it. This fender has remnants of a uh, Ford sticker on it. So this was a new old stock fender. Come around this way. See, there's run into the sticker. I actually peeled it off so I can read it. I should have left it on there, but again, new old stock fender apron. Um, and look, remnants of the sticker. So this was a new old stock fender. So when they painted the car, they replaced both fenders with new old stock pieces. And they're still in really good shape. I mean, there's no, no rust through or anything on them. They replaced both of these uh, aprons here. Um, coming around the sides, the doors, the doors are actually super clean. I mean, they're in really good shape. The rockers, the inner and outer rockers are still in good shape. Now, the quarters are in good shape. Except for, you know, up over here. I mean, that's not the end of the world. But when you pop open the trunk, what do you see in the quarters? Well, someone put new old stock quarters on this car. It doesn't stop there. The taillight panel. I don't have a screwdriver to open it right now, but the taillight panel has the Ford part number markings on the reverse side. So this was a new old stock taillight panel. Now, step over. I didn't look at this guy. This guy was in pretty good shape though. A splash pan. So, you see this quarter? It's, you know, that's a nice quarter. Again, door. It's a nice clean door. Again, inner outer rockers are solid. So, originally I thought this car was kind of a, you know, major project. Well, it still is. But somebody put uh, floor pans and front rails on this they'd have a pretty good car to uh, start with. I know, I know, it sounds like a lot of work. Well, these 69 Fastbacks don't exactly grow on trees anymore, so. And if you look here, looks like the car was, had some work done by Mustang Restoration Specialists, and I don't know where that is. It doesn't have an area code, so. Yeah. Interior. I think I'm actually going to try to clean the interior up. Try and get the remnants of this uh, carpet out of here. It's, it smells really bad. Like, I wish I had smell of vision on this camera. But uh, the seats will actually clean up really well. You know, center console will clean up. It's, center console's not perfect, but it will clean up. Dash pad is in really good shape. It's got one split on that end. So, yeah, I mean, it's 
you know, door panels are decent, but yeah, no, I'll clean up the interior. I'll get rid of that carpet. I'll get the brakes unlocked, you know, get some tires on it so it rolls and steers and get the title. And, you know, that's, uh, I'm going to get as much as I can out of this, uh, say turd, but this is what it is. It's uh, not a bad car, honestly. Now, why don't I fix it myself? I don't like these. I, they're, I'm not a Mustang guy. Never really was. Oh. Yeah, my, uh, my heart wouldn't be here for this car. So, that's my plan for it currently. So, I can at least get it off the trailer. So, I'll keep you guys posted on uh, what becomes of it. Be great to see someone do something with it. Oh, all right. Well, I gotta go. See you later. And real quick, I would have loved to have shown you what it took to uh, drag that car out of the barn, but the sad truth is, the owner already had it dragged out and waiting for me in front of the barn by the time I got there. So, it wasn't very exciting at all. So sadly, all I have to leave you with is two pictures taken of the car inside the barn. Sorry. <laughs>